Well, tonight, a woman is working to put her life back together after a pickup truck barged into her living room. It came to a stop exactly where she'd been sitting just moments before. The damage still evident near Valley View and Sahara in the Central Valley, and that's where we find Madison Kirmbrough with the woman's terrifying story. Madison, is that woman okay? Yes, her name is Francine McHugh, and the soon-to-be 74-year-old is just thankful to be alive tonight after a pickup truck ran into her living room, as you can see right here, Saturday evening. Take a look. Well, I was sitting at the table as usual. What made me move, I don't know. Francine McHugh has been a resident of Sunrise Gardens Senior Living for three years. And this past Saturday, she almost lost her life after a white pickup truck rammed into her apartment. By the time I reached the doorknob, the big boom went and everything came at me. Before the incident, the driver of the truck allegedly hit a man that was crossing the street, Metro describing it as an attempted homicide. The driver of the truck then sped off, landing right into Francine's living room. I mean, I've never seen so much glass in my life, and so scared and trapped, and I could not get out, I could not move, I don't walk. Luckily, Francine made it to the door and squeezed herself out. Francine's neighbor, Nancy Vasquez, recalls hearing a loud noise, followed by repeated screaming. I heard a big crash, like I heard a bunch of glass. It went, and I said, oh, crap. I thought the neighbor upstairs had fallen out of the bathtub. Francine says she thought the white pickup truck was going to blow up as she screamed for help and for her dog, Toto, who she later found unharmed once she made it outside. And I was thankful she got out okay because, I don't know, God was on her side that night. The angels were there. And the two people in the pickup truck were detained and taken into custody. As far as charges go, Metro has not released that information yet, but we will keep a lookout. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.